According to police information, a report was lodged by a senior pastor who is the Ghana Police Forces chaplain to the Commissioner of Police, David Ramnarine. In that report, it is alleged that at the conclusion of the stated examination, the senior official's colleague pastors who invigilated the examination reported the following that 174 persons were registered to write the examination, but 106 persons presented themselves on the day in question. However, 207 scripts were received at the conclusion of the examination and 155 of the 207 scripts were completed. Police say that initial inquiries revealed that a senior subordinate officer who was mandated to oversee this theoretical examination in collaboration with two pastors from the COPS and Faith Community Network partnership with the Ghana Police Force along with three junior ranks left the examination venue shortly after the examination commenced and did not return. Further, it was reported that a junior subordinate officer who ought not not to have been at the examination venue, presented himself, spent some time and left subsequently. The three constables left the examination venue prior to the continuing and counting of the examination scripts by members of the COPS and Faith Community Network after the conclusion of the examination, the police report said. This newscast understands that only the members of the COPS and Faith Community Network, that is the two pastors, were left in possession of the completed examination papers. Preliminary inquiries have indicated a complete breach of the standard operating procedures governing the administration and conduct of the learner driver's theoretical examination. As such, due to the circumstances while the full and comprehensive investigation is awaited, the members of the public who sat the examination at the the venue on Thursday, April 12, 2018, will have to reset the examination. Regrettably, but deemed absolutely necessary, they will be informed of the date and time when they will have to reset that particular examination, the police press statement said. Over a number of years, the volunteer assistance and involvement of members of the COPS and Faith Community Network countrywide has been invaluable in several areas in which they partner with the force. Since the involvement of the members of the COP Faith Community Network in the invigilation of the learner drivers, theoretical and practical practical examinations, there have been reports of a significant reduction in the opportunities for corruption, complaint and allegations, and this voluntary involvement will continue according to the police force. The completed investigation will be sent for legal advice. Michael Young, The Evening News.